All right, so I told you a little bit about the logarithm and the, the definition. And so now that we have this new function, there are some properties. Now remember, nice way to remember these properties is the logarithm functions like the power. The logarithm equals the power of the exponential function. So these are the properties of logs. These are on page 405 of your book. So if you wanna write them down or if you just wanna take a look at that, I'm sorry, not 405, I'm a page ahead, 403 of your book. So the product rule. So if I have the logarithm of any base, any positive, x times y. So remember, what do you do when you multiply? What do you do with the powers? You add them. So you can take the log base a of the first factor plus the log base a of the second factor. That is called the product rule. Similarly, when you are dividing, so when I have the logarithm base a of x divided by y, this is called the quotient rule. Quotient means division. So remember, what do you do when you divide your bases? What happens to the powers? You subtract them. And so this is the log base a of x minus the log base a of y. I can take whatever's in the numerator with the first logarithm minus whatever's in the denominator for the second logarithm. The next one's called the power rule. If I'm taking the log base a of x to the r power, so I have something raised to a power, then what you can do because of the properties of exponents is you can bring the power and I can take it and I can drop it down into the front. And so it becomes a coefficient r times the log base a of x. And then finally, the final two properties, these are just based on the fact that the exponential and the logarithm are inverses. That was our very first graph we did in the, the first video of this section. So because they're inverses, if I have the log base a of a to a power, so notice the base of the exponential and the base of the logarithm are the same. Those are inverses and they cancel and you just have k and vice versa. If I have the exponential base a and in the exponent I have log base a of k, again these bases have to be the same and as long as the bases are the same the exponential and the logarithm cancel each other out and you're just left with k. Those are the properties of logarithms.